Hey, what's up, cousins? How are y'all doing? Welcome in to Tommy Vice TV. We are back for another day of news that you can use, hopefully. I hope you guys are staying warm wherever you are. Much of the United States is experiencing the big freeze right now. Winter weather is severe in almost every state out here. There are multiple, multiple state of emergencies or emergency declarations that have been issued. Um, so I'm only going to cover a few of them. However, if your state is not mentioned and you are experiencing a state of emergency, please, by all means, Write that down in the comments so that other people will know exactly what is happening around this United States of these Americas. Um, I just got through, I just came in. It's actually the same day that I did those other three stories, but I decided to change my um, jacket so I wouldn't have on the same, you know what I'm saying, for three videos. There would have been the fourth video. <laughs> So guys, I'm working hard. It's a hard work week, but I enjoy bringing you the news that you can use. I hope that you really can use it. If not, at least share it out with somebody who possibly can use it. And also, um, let's just get to it. Let's just let's 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 just get to it. Okay, so uh, la 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 la. Let me see for one second and make sure I'm set up right before I start sharing my screen with you guys. Um, as you enter, please hit that like button. It does help this channel grow. Um, so let's just get to the first one because I have I think three of them I want to give to you um, and in, they are in no particular order just the order that I happen to be able to actually see them on the screen here Also, put in the comments any tips that you may have. Okay, here's the first one. State of emergency declared in Shelby County due to winter weather. I'm just making sure I'm not covering that the screen is the way it needs to be. Okay, so this is as of January 15th. When you're seeing this, it'll be the 16th. A lot of people are getting snow right now, even in places that normally don't snow um, is getting snow. So this is Memphis, Tennessee. A state of emergency was issued in Shelby County Monday afternoon as a winter storm continues to move through the Midwest. I'm sorry, Mid-South. I'm covering too many stories right now. Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris declared a local state of emergency. So it's just this county. Uh, apparently it's more rougher there than in other parts of Tennessee. So this was declared as a local state of emergency on Monday after a wind chill advisory for sub-zero wind chills began Sunday evening and four to six inches of snow accumulated in the county that's a lot of snow um let me know are y'all seeing snow where you are uh we got a few flurries they say i didn't see them personally i did feel and see the sleet but i didn't see the few snow flurries that they did say came down between hickory and taylorsville um it says, our community has received several inches of snow, creating many hazardous conditions. Please stay off the streets today. And if you can do it safely, please check in on your neighbors. That is a great reminder, you guys, to check in on your neighbors, especially if you have elderly neighbors. Check on them. Or if you have a, a single mother and, you know, she may not know some of the things to do. Check on them and make sure that they are okay. It says the National Weather Service says snow 
will continue to fall on Monday afternoon, uh, tapering off into the evening. The bitterly cold conditions will continue through Wednesday morning. The streets are covered, y'all. It's a good thing, though, I don't see that many cars. I only see like maybe one or two in these pictures here. This is Union and Third. This is South Main Street. And this is in Memphis, y'all. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Look at that river. The I-55 bridge in the snow. This is what it looks like. You can barely see maybe five feet in front of you, if that. I was about, I thought that was a fake owl, but that is a real owl, you guys. That is a real, is it real? Yes, yeah, real. It says an owl sits in a snow covered East Memphis backyard. Neighbors say the barred owl is a regular visitor. They called him Mortimer. So Mortimer's chilling in the snow, you guys. Look at that lake. Well, that pond was freezing up in South Haven near State Line Road. It says temperatures are falling fast as Arctic air moves in. There is a lot of winter weather ahead, and we are going to get wind chills below zero before it's all said and done. Okay, so let us go over here. Wait, it was the same one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back and share our screen again. It says Landry declares a state of emergency. This is in Louisiana because of the cold weather. Is there a way I can make this bigger for me to see without having to put my glasses on? Okay. I hope y'all can still see that. Yeah, you can. Okay. It says, Governor, let's see, a state of emergency is in effect in Louisiana because of the cold front. Governor Jeff Landry signed an executive order on Friday declaring the emergency because of anticipated severe winter weather conditions. The National Weather Service has um, said that the low temps and wind chills will linger from now until Wednesday in central and northern Louisiana. Landry said people should prepare for this cold condition and take the advice of their local officials. Road crews were on standby and are on standby. So that's to keep that roadway as clear and open as possible. I'm not sure if that means they're going to be putting out the um, ground covering for the potential snow that is to come in or not. And let's see. Hold on. I don't want to share everything. Let's... Wait, let's take that one out. I'm trying to get rid of some of these stories so that I can get, don't miss it. Okay, here's another one. So let's share that one 
with y'all. Somebody's dog out there barking. Just did that one. Uh, where did it go? I hate when that happens. Mm -mm. Okay, so I don't know where it went. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and just read it because it was right there in my face. Okay, so this one is Kentucky. Kentucky is also having a state of emergency. I think somebody dog ready to go in. I don't know why. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, let's do Kentucky. So Kentucky, Frankfort, Kentucky, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir has declared a level four state of emergency due to the high winds, heavy rains, and thunderstorms for part of the state. Central and Southern Kentucky will receive significant snow accumulation while Northern, Northern Kentucky may receive little. Let me see. Northern Kentucky will, most, will be mostly cloudy Tuesday with frigid low temperatures in the single digits, but temperatures will be likely um, to be below zero. Snow accumulations may be anywhere between 0.1 and 0.2 of an inch. So they're asking all their Kentuckians to stay weather aware as snow accumulation and below freezing temps continue to sweep through the Commonwealth. The governor advises Kentuckians that the state price gouging laws are activated to protect individuals from overpriced goods. That is a good thing because whenever you do in a state of emergency, you need to put that in place. That way it may not affect you in that moment, meaning you can't handle it in that moment. But if you know that that station is charging more because of the weather, you can report it to local officials. Um, he says that the disaster distress helpline offers confidential crisis counseling and emotional support for those in the U.S. and territories experiencing distress or mental health concerns due to disasters that are potentially going to happen. So um, I think there was another one, if I'm not mistaken, that it was in. Um, oh, what was it? Was it Oregon? I think it was in Oregon, the other one. So let's we'll see. Is it Oregon? Is this? No, that's the one I just did. Yeah. Oh, so officials in Oregon have declared a state of emergency. Um, I don't know why I cannot find this on here to share it. I'm going to try it one more time. And if I can't, then I won't. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just read it. I'll let you know what they're saying. Okay. So, oh, that's a store closure, store closure, recall, store closure. It just don't want to be found. It, it don't want to be found today. That, but that goes to show you how many stories I do have <laughs> that just don't want to be found. So anyway, Oregon has declared that state of emergency following a winter storm that has left tens of thousands of residents without power. We need to, we need to, we're going to go over a few things that we should be doing. Um, so don't, 
leave yet. Yeah, don't leave. Don't leave. Stay, 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 stay. Um, we're going to go over a few things that we can do to protect from this cold weather. And please leave tips and advice down in the comments for others because I will not cover them all. Um, residents have been warned to stay indoors and off the roads. They've already had two deaths reported in separate incidents after three trees. No, yeah. After trees fell on a home in Lake Oswego in an RV in southern Portland. So they've had a number of deaths. They've had a number of deaths due to this storm, sadly. So prayers go out to that family uh, or families. It says, most likely that power outage is not like from when, it's, it's looking like it's from just a surge of people using more to stay warm. Um, and y'all know we got these failing power grids. That's why I be saying, you know, I definitely need me a gas powered generator. I have like three solar generators, but I would love to have a gas powered generator. It's just not in the budget as of yet, but that is what's happening and things that you can do you guys to, um, hopefully keep your home from freezing your pipes and all of that stuff. So I just came in from outside because I was recording for my other channel, Tommy Bites Farm Life. If you have not subscribed to that channel, please go over there and subscribe and help a girl out. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers over there. I'm not even at five, but I'm, I'm shooting for the stars. Okay. I'm shooting for the stars. And um, so I just came in from out there and I was showing, you know, things that you can do around your house to hopefully keep your pipes from freezing. One of which is I bought um, the little styrofoam things that go over your uh, spigots outside. If you have outdoor pipes, you need to be covering them up. And so those are the only two outdoor ones that I have. Um, my two spigots. So I use the foam covering for that. But one of my foam coverings blew away the last storm we had. So I actually use, am using a shirt and I'm praying that that helps um, keep that pipe is a little bit warm. Um, on the inside of your house, however, what you can do to keep your pipes from hopefully freezing in these harsh temps is for your kitchen sink, leave all sinks dripping. It don't have to be a heavy flow of water, just a light drip. And then open up the doors underneath your sink that where your sink is sitting. If this is your sink and then you have the cabinets here, open up the doors, leave them open so that heat can go in and keep those pipes warm that way. Those are some things that you can do around your house. You can also put something down around the bottom of your door or cover your windows um, with something, if you know you have drafty windows, etc. Um, so there are things that you can do before the storm hits, and there are things you can do when the storm hits. So you may not be able to get to everything on the outside, but there are some things you can do on the inside to hopefully protect your home and not have something crazy happen. I'm in an old house, so that's why I say I hope this works, but um, yeah. That's just some things I'm looking forward to reading y'all tips down there below. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here on Tommy Vice TV. And again, if you are new, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here. You didn't have to be here. None of y'all did, but y'all here. And I appreciate you. And always, always, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love because God is love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV. And don't forget to go and help me grow my other channel. If you want to see homesteading with raising your animals, um, growing your own food, renovating a home, those type of things, go over to Tommy Bites Farm Life. The link is in the description box and I will see you there. Bye y'all. Ahala.